Hey guys, Silver Praetorian here, and welcome back to the Isle of Hags. So, now that we've seen the King Jinjo, we've found out that all the Jinjos have left, and... Well, I wonder what happened to these Jinjos. Wasn't there a sign up front? Or out back? Wow, that was a complete waste of time. This isn't... Wow. <laughs> It's like Banjo doesn't know how to read. <laughs> Alright. In loving memory of the Grey Jinjo family, passed away unexpectedly when a huge digging machine flattened their house. Hmm. Well then. So, um... I suppose I should mention that collecting Jinjos works differently in this game. We'll uh, cover that when we get to it. If I remember correctly, there are nine colors of Jinjo. I'll, I'll explain it more later. Alright, um, we need to go through here. We need to go through Bottle's house again to get to where the first world is. Um, let's see. Majority of the worlds in this game, with the exception of the last world, and I believe the first world, cannot be completed 100% here. Is there a monster in... Why... Is there a monster in Mrs. Bottle's bedroom? Uh, 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 is there something we should tell Bottles? Right, um, wh what was I talking about? Alright, with the exception of the first, or with the exception of the last world, and I believe the first world, we cannot complete a world 100% the first time we go into it. I am fairly sure that is correct. Anyway, here is... Uh, press B to view. This basically just tells you how many you need to get into the world, the name of the world and stuff. Anyway, let's get this show on the road. Here we are in our first world. And this is a warp pad, which... Easy stuff. Um, here's the entrance and exit area. Could have sworn there's... Yes, there is. We cannot get to that empty honeycomb piece. We'll have to come back for it. Um, where to start? Where to start? Uh, well, as you can see here, notes are now clustered up in these little nests in groups of five. And another change to the notes are that... You can... You don't have to recollect them every time you enter a world. Oh, this here is a mumbo pad. We need mumbo's help to actually be able to use that. Let's keep moving up and grab more notes. Ah, uh, here we go. This is jam jars. Yeah. We gotta get our butts over there so he can help us out. Let's go talk to him right now. Um, if you see up there in the right corner, that's how many notes we have. The bottom le right was how many notes we need. This is Jam Jars, like I said. This is Bottle's cousin? Or his brother? It's his brother. Right, so, um, let's see. Yeah, they just tell him up front that he's dead. He's like, just like, eh, sorry to hear that. Did he go out fighting? Playing cards, actually. <laughs> Typical. So we'll be wanting to learn some of my special moves to get even with the witch, huh? And it's like, nah, they taught him a bunch of moves. But, um, of course, what would game would this be without learning a bunch of new moves? So, here he's going to teach us the first move, and I'm trying to remember what this first move is. Um, I cannot think of what it is for the life of me. Now let's we're about to find out. The A game. Oh, right. We'll get um, a couple variations of this as we go through, but it's basically... Oh, I'll demonstrate it right away. It's basically we can do a first-person view and spit out eggs that way. So we go into first-person view, and if we press Z on um, 64 controller, I don't know what it would be on the original, but we could um, shoot eggs out, and hitting the little jewel on... No, I don't want to talk to bottles or jam jars again. A game allows you to fire your eggs more accurately while in Banjo's eye view. Use Z to fire your eggs and to toggle sight on and on. Yeah, yeah, we know. Alright, let's exit that and keep going up, I suppose. Anyway, there's Mumbo. Let's go see Mumbo for help first before we do anything else. Avoid the monster there. Let's grab this. Here's the second warp point we have. I will be showing off how to use these 
a lot, really, because it's useful to get around better that way. Um, moving on, though. Into Mumbo's hut. Er, skull. Alright, first thing off is there are no Mumbo Tokums. Instead, you need these creatures. This is a Globo. Um, to perform a magic anything, you need a Globo to basically be the cause for the spell. Go up here to Mumbo, and let's go talk to him. Asleep as always. Alright. Unlike the previous game, Mumbo does not transform you. He does something else. Anyway, we got a Globo, so must give magic creature to Mumbo if we want help. Want Mumbo's help? Yeah, we do. Sure, need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Gotta feel sorry for the Globos. Anyway, we do that, and we take control of Mumbo. Mumbo gets to be hero at last. Press B to see Mighty Shaman Zapstick. Return me to chair when we want to be Baron Bird again. Anyway, how this works is you press B, you can zap things, and that Mumbo pad we passed earlier we can use now. So let's go back and check that out. Some worlds have a few Mumbo pads. This one, I believe, only has the one. But there are several things we want to actually do do with the um, statue there, so let's just go and take care of them now. Let's grab these notes while I'm on the way. Any notes we grab with Mumbo will count towards Banjo and Kazooie, and um, we've already collected 80 of the notes, so making good progress. That was Jinjo up there. Mumbo can swim as well, not as good as Banjo and Kazooie. Anyway, here is the Mumbo pad, so let's just use this. Hope this works. Summon the Golden Goliath. And he would just go here singing his song, and whatever the spell is meant to do, it will do. Alright, and here we go. This is the Golden Goliath, if you couldn't guess by the name of the spell. And our goal here is just to beat up stuff with it. Hopefully we'll only need to summon it once, since it works on a time limit, and we'll be able to get everything we need done with it. When will magic make Golden Goliath rise? Oh, magic only last a short time. To control me again, return the statue to its base and press B. Alright, the statue can move around. He can jump. Not that impressive. And he also has a kick. Like so. Use the kick to open up that little passage there so we can go through it later. And for now, we want to go down to this other door and take care of it. There's also a boulder over here we can probably destroy while we're at it. And what is underneath this boulder? It is a flight pad. That'll be useful later on. Alright, um, the Golden Goliath can also destroy those things completely, but we don't need to, and we're on a time limit here, so let's just keep moving as quickly as possible. Alright then. Once we pass through here, what you want to do is go to the left here in Jade Snake Grove, and there is this quicksand which you will sink very deep into. You just want to go over here and get this jiggy, and um, that's pretty much everything we need to do with the Golden Goliath. So Mumbo is unfortunately no longer useful to us. Let's just kill this guy. Oh, there are also um, different honeycomb effects. I'll explain those as they come up. There's the... Well, actually, I'll explain them right now. I got time. There is the basic honeycomb. There is a random honeycomb, which will cause a little mini-game to appear where the, the honeycomb will light up along your bar randomly, and when you press the button to stop it, you'll have that much life at the end. And then there's the exclamation point, which basically the same principle, but it goes in order. At least I think that's how they work. I'll explain it more later. And Mumbo also has less life, less life than Banjo. But anyway, that's pretty much all we need to do with Mumbo, so let's just run back here and... turn back into Banjo and Kazooie. Um, yep, that's pretty much everything we need to do for now. So back to Banjo and Kazooie. And in here... and up the stairs. Okay, now we're back in control of Banjo and Kazooie, who have one more hit point than Mumbo had. Hmm. 
Probably should have shown off the zap stick in action, just using it to fight an enemy, but no need. It's actually not that powerful. And, um, if I remember correctly, Banjo, just a slight difference is Banjo no longer has his punch attack, Kazooie would just do a ground attack. So, that's just another slight difference that I just remembered. Anyway, um, let's go into Jade Snake Grove for now. Actually, let's see this. This move is the Briegel Blaster. Um, I'll get into this a little later. It's basically kind of a turn. There are some sections of the game where you play as a first person shooter, and this move basically just allows you to do that. Let's just jump down here and. Ooh, Jinjo. Let's um, turn around and grab this Jinjo. Come on, grab the Jinjo. Alright. You saved me. I'm off for home now. Alright, explaining how the Jinjos work. There are the nine families of Jinjos, I believe it's nine anyway, and each family of Jinjos has a different number of members. When you save all of the members of a certain color, they will reward you with a Jiggy in their house. So that's pretty much the extent to how the um, Jinjos work in this game. I believe there are still five in a world, so we'll still have to be sure to save them all. Alright, so now that we've saved our first Jinjo, and let's keep moving, because we still have one, mo one more move to learn, and then we're pretty much good to go and just keep getting more Jiggies from here on. Alright then, and in here is a purple Jig... Jinjo. I almost said Jiggy. Not a Jiggy, it's a Jinjo. Alright, and let's talk to Jam Jars here. Listen up to what you're told on the edges you can now hold. Move along with the greatest of these. Button B to attack what you please. Alright then. This is a move I wish was in the original Banjo Kazooie. It is a ledge grab. That would have helped so much with a bunch of jumps. Anyway, there is the first purple Jinjo of eight. And over here is a TP. Huh, we're gonna have to get hurt. We're gonna have to check that out. In a moment, I wanna see what's over here. Over here, there is... Um... Hmm. Pyramid we can't get into. It's up here on top. Oh no, I know what's on top. We're doing this now. I hate this. Alright. That snake has a jiggy. If we step on this texture here on the ground, this happens. He wakes up, he eats it, and it's annoying. We have to do stuff like this a few times in the game. <laughs> At least Kazooie's honest. But I heard you coming clumsy there. Oh. Anyway, how this works is you want to wait back down here, he'll spit it back out and go to sleep once more. Stupidest enemy ever. Annoying one though, and how this works is you want to jump up here and then very lightly push the stick forward so that Banjo is just not doing that. I may end up cutting to my successful attempt here just because of how annoying this is. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I actually get this. Really a stupid enemy though. I will say, the control sticks of the Nintendo 64 era were not sensitive enough for this. And now I'm just going to very carefully not press anything. Not even breathe. But I will talk. 
Carefully. Carefully. Uh, Alright. We got that jiggy. And now we can run around here all we want and he will not wake up. I really dislike these jiggies. Alright, um, now for here we can just jump up on this and wall climb across. Enemies hide in those things, so just bait them out and then peck at them with Kazooie. Easy stuff. Very easy stuff. And what's this? Let's see, cutscene time. Well done, you found one of my missing pages. Oh my, what happened to you, Cheeto? Collect five, then return them to me in Grunty's old lair in Spyro Mountain. Alright, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to help Cheeto out. He provided us with a bunch of nice little cheats, quote unquote, in the first game. Anyway guys, this has been about sixteen minutes and I'm trying or actually about fifteen minutes and I'm trying to be better at pacing these, so I'm gonna cut it here. This time we started the first world. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I know I'm going to fail. Next time we're going to try to finish it up as much as possible and just keep on moving. I will see you guys all then.